Let's talk about projects. So a project is any temporary endeavor to produce a unique product, service, or result. Like building a house, for example. There are three key elements of projects. They're temporary. They create something that didn't exist prior to the project being done. And they're unique in nature. They're different from what we normally call operational work. Projects are temporary, unique in the end, whereas operations are ongoing things that we have to do in an organization. They're repetitive and they need to be done to sustain the organization. Project phases are groupings of logically related activities. As you see on the slide, all the design activities would be in the design phase. All the building or construction activities might be in a building phase. And then any testing activities would be in the testing phase of the project. When you complete a phase of a project, it usually relates uh, results in the completion of one or more deliverables. Projects have constraints, and constraints are limiting factors on the project. The major constraints are scope, which is all the work you have to do, time or the schedule of the project, cost, obviously the budget, and also quality standards, risks that may prevent us from doing the project a certain way because it's too risky, and resources where we know that we're always limited, maybe in manpower or equipment or raw materials. There are a couple of life cycle types you need to know. And first of all is the waterfall or predictive life cycle. And then the agile or adaptive life cycle. So waterfall uh, project life cycles have a well-defined scope of work. For example, building a house that has a blueprint. We know exactly what we need to do there. An agile project has an unknown requirement or maybe an ambiguous goal. And a good example of that that we're all very familiar with is the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, really didn't know what the requirements were for that. It's something brand new. Nobody knows how to build that. So they're starting from scratch. Waterfall projects are easy to plan and for the schedule and the budget, but it's hard in an adaptive project or an agile project to plan those same things because you have unknown requirements. Change control would be continuous in a waterfall project where you have a plan and you just make sure that you stay on that plan. But in an agile project, change is actually expected because we know we don't have all the requirements up front. So we have to embrace that as part of the life cycle. We have to expect that change is gonna come up and have processes in place to manage it. So a couple of examples of waterfall projects are there. A construction project, uh, refreshing technology within an organization, for example, replace a thousand laptops for employees, or maybe upgrading equipment. Uh, such as uh, an aircraft that goes through uh, an, an airframes change. Some examples of agile projects are software development, where uh, the client might not know exactly what all the options are in the software, and the software developers have to work with the client to determine exactly what will meet their need. We just mentioned the COVID-19 vaccine, so new drug development would also be an agile project where we don't really know exactly how to make that vaccine, and there's going to be some trial and error there. Process improvement. A lot of times when you do a process improvement, you know what you want to accomplish, but you really don't know what exactly is going to give you the process improvements that you're looking for. And so you might go through some trial and error there. A successful project is the one that delivers in scope results, meaning we got all the work done correctly. We got it done on time. We got it done on budget and it meets an identified business need within your organization.